Hey everybody, welcome back once again to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. And today we're going to learn about panels. And we're going to learn how to show panels and hide panels, to resize them, and other things. So just keep on watching the tutorial and I'm sure you'll learn some new things about panels. So pretty much what a panel does is it gives you easy access to uh, task specific operations from uh, color control to maybe like vector path information or brush information. And um, they're over here on the right, and this is the panels panel, which is kind of funny to say, but there it is. And you can find and see all the different types of panels that might not be over here, over here in the windows on the menu bar. So if we come down to here, we can see all these different kinds of panels here. And the ones that are open uh, are the ones that are checkmarked here. So if I click on something like brushes, we can see that the brushes panel is now open. And when I go to window, you can see now brushes is open. So tools right here is checkmarked. That's on the left. And control is going to be here right above where it says path there. And it has the X, Y, W, and H over here. And then we've got all these other ones that you can open up. Now you can easily close these by clicking on this double arrow. It's going to close it. And you can click on the icon, if you remember what the icon means, to open it up. Now, if you hover over the icons, if you're on the default preferences, then you can see the um, description of what the panel actually is. So we know how to open a panel, we know how to collapse panel, but how do you resize the panel? Well, um, some of the panels have this handy resize bar on it where you can go like that, or out here like this. Not all panels have a resize bar on them. Let me see if I can find one that doesn't. Like this one right here. You can tell there's a resize bar because it has this like extra little bar here down at the bottom that has a bunch of little indentation looking things here and that means you can resize it but when you can't it doesn't have that but you can see the gradient one does but stroke doesn't because there's really no need to make this any bigger the letters aren't going to get bigger the font isn't going to get bigger so there's no reason really to do it so say you're working on a panel like this like you have stroke gradient and transparency and you don't want to keep on clicking to switch back in between. You just want both of them to be open at the same time. What you need to do is click and hold on the name here, right on the tab, and you can drag it and it undocks the panel. Now you can have these two open at the same time and you can move this to wherever you want to. Now, say you want to redock this panel. Well, you just click on it and drag. And you can see now that there is a blue rectangle around it. So once you do that, you can let go and it docks the panel back in there. You can also move it around in the, within the tabs. And you can see over here on the right in the panels that it's moving in the order that you have these docked. You can also move the button here to a different section. And that way you can uh, have it in its own little thing here, in its own little section. Or you can move it back to where it was. So there it is. So say you're working on your project and all this stuff is getting in your way and you don't really want it around. And you don't need to access the tools panel or the control panel or any of these other panels. What you're going to do is you're going to press tab. And now you can see that all the panels are gone. Now, I like using this if I'm going to try to show some of the artwork to a client. That way, they don't have to see any of this nonsense and they aren't looking around trying to figure out things you can add to it and stuff like that. They're just going to see what you're showing them. If you hit tab again, you're going to have this open. Now, or you're going to have all the uh, stuff come back up. Now, if you hold down shift and press tab, you're only going to hide the panels panel. That way you can keep your control panel and you can you can keep your tools panel. The last thing I want to show you about panels in this tutorial is the panel options menu. 
and each of these is going to have a panels options menu. So we've got stroke here selected. You click on this little icon here, and we've got our panel options here. We've got more options that we can see. If I go to the colors here, uh, you've got more options going on here without having to hit show options. If I hit show options, I've got more options. Let's go to color guide. And you can see all these different options that each of these panels have. They're all different, and each panel has its own set of options, which is really nice. And you, when you're working with a panel and you can't figure out what's going on, or you can't figure out why something's not there or anything like that, then what you're going to want to do is go into the panel options and check and see if it's in there, if you need to. You can also, in a lot of the panels, you can also change the view. So we've got different kinds of views here, and we've got different kind of sorting as well. So check in your options, uh, panel options menu for different kind of things that you would expect the panel to have but don't see. Well, that's all we've uh, got for this tutorial. So keep on watching and check out some more tutorials as we keep on going through uh, Illustrator CS6. Have a good one, everyone.